marketing rockstar. <laughs> you for people using rockstar uh, part of the names. That you might as well just call yourself a marketing Batman while you're at it. Batman's a little bit cooler because you got more tools. Everyone wants to get a job, but typically people look down on regular people with regular jobs for positions such as Director of First Impressions, Business Development Associate, or Executive Assistant, which literally just means front desk secretary, sales rep, and assistant to someone in the office. So today, I want to give you the ability to rebrand and give yourself the proper title you deserve to show off the work that you actually do that a lot of people don't recognize based on your title alone. Also, I kind of want to make fun of job titles I saw on LinkedIn and government sites that it's just, why would you even use this kind of job title that literally means nothing? So hopefully this will help you guys create that job title and also have a fun time saying, look, that guy who you thought we were competing against, they're probably the same level as you, if not worse than you. So let's get started. So every job title is broken down to three different parts. First one's impact, second one's objective, third one placement. So number one, the impact. You can use words such as direct, lead, experience dynamic on site which literally just mean i'm working for someone i'm working with someone i work at a place i work off a place i have worked in places like there's nothing special about this and uh, honestly any job you do let's say um math tutor obviously yes i am dynamically teaching someone how to do their work does that mean you're Dynamic? No, just well, I guess you could, but at the end of the day, it's literally you're using words to describe something that doesn't seem that impressive. So, number two, the broadest way to describe your job. So, some titles such as solution, infrastructure, configuration, all of these words literally don't mean jack. Well, I guess at the end of the day, they all mean like I solve a problem, or you could put any title you want in there. You could put marketing, um, researcher, all that stuff. Like, you just describe your job as broad as possible to the very top brim of where people are like, I get it, and I'll call them these words. And number three is where you fit in. This one I'll put as negative one, zero plus one, which means where you are in the company. So negative one means you're young. Words such as associate, assistant, representative. This means you're a lower tier, but sounds more impressive than just saying you're junior. While zero means you're in the middle of the chain. You, you have someone working under you and you have someone working above you, which you say specialist, officer, coordinator. You're just adding words to it, even though they don't really mean much. You're just putting a word there just to show that you're somewhere. And last is plus one, which means you work above other people. So these can include supervisor, executive, manager, director. Again, interchangeably, you can put where you want to be in this ladder and it works. You can also throw in the weird fancy words that don't apply to your field, but can work. So words such as architect, engineer, accelerator, developer. You've probably never had an architect degree or engineering degree, but you can use these words to show off yourself saying, wow, I'm impressive. Like, I even looked this up. I, I laughed my off when I found out that the, one of the government jobs right now in Canada is a sales engineer, which is like, what? You don't need an engineering degree. It's literally a salesman. They just rebrand the salesman to be an engineer, which again, you're just making these titles that mean nothing at the end of the day just to seem more impressive than you are. Accelerator means I excel this team to the next level. Uh, architect, I built this infrastructure of our minds and marketing. See how this sounds? So yeah, don't be intimidated by these titles because they're just ways to rebrand themselves to look different, but it means the same thing as you and me. And truth be told, this is 75% of LinkedIn profiles I've seen online. Now we know the basics of how to make an impressive job title. I'm going to show you what LinkedIn, what online sites have posted for jobs, that these are real job titles. And I'll break down to you what they actually mean. Underwater ceramic technician. This literally means dishwasher boy or girl. That's creative. Nice. I will recommend people actually using that. Let's move on media publication delivery and response. That's a paper boy or girl. Now, I don't know if people do this as a job now, but someone actually posted that as their credentials, so I guess that's a way to put it. Meat distribution engineer means a butcher, sandwich artist. Now, we all know what that is, and I'll be honest, that sounds less impressive than saying I work at Subway, so 
Yeah, don't use that. Early response eviction technician. Means bouncer at the club. <laughs> that's that's a cool way to put it. That, that's a cool way to put it for sure. Business development associate. Now let's use what we learned before. Business means I directly affiliate myself with the business. I help develop it and I work under someone. So yeah, that just means you're a salesman. Accounts manager associate, which literally means I deal with a specific customer and I'm still junior. Field representative agent, which means I'm a salesman but I work outside the office. Now again, I don't want to downplay sales. Sales is actually a really important skill to learn and I recommend anyone, if you have the chance to learn it, you should learn it to learn about business. Marketing rockstar. F you for people using rockstar, uh, part of the names, and I know if you friends, so I'm just saying F you as a fun way to say it, but literally that means nothing. It literally tries to say, look, I, I should be more famous than what I am, but you're not. And I will only call you Rockstar if you can sing fully three songs from Queen. Then I will reconsider you as a marketing Rockstar. You might as well just call yourself a marketing Batman while you're at it. Batman's a little bit cooler because you got more tools than a Rockstar. Guru. I hate when people use this word. You guys know the word guru originated from the 1800s in Hinduism? It is another way to describe as a spiritual teacher, someone who walked the path of enlightenment, who dispels darkness and walks the path towards light. So when you look at that two-year marketing intern and they say they're a guru, f you, you are not a guru. There's no f***ing way you have walked the path of enlightenment in those two years alone. Transparency Enhancement Facilitator means window washer. That was really f***ing good. good job for someone who made that one up. Computer Whisperer Literally means IT, but it sounds like someone's trying to encourage a computer to pee for the first time in the toilet Come on, you can do it You can do it Just, just take your time And go Entertainment and Customer Experience Chemist Which means Bartender I would not trust someone with that job title into my research facility, but you know Marketing Technologist means I know about TikTok So we should use TikTok SEO specialist means I know Google ads. Ethical hacker means I know how to promote this product legally. Brand ambassador means you're a salesman who's not paid. Emerging sales professional means waitress or waiter, which is a really And I found this one on LinkedIn by an article someone posted saying that this is the right way to do it. That is too much in my opinion. I think we can do a better way to name it. University global ambassador means unpaid tour guide at the university. High risk analysis and investor for free markets. Literally means a poker player. I actually have a friend in the university who became a professional poker player and no one liked the resume, so he renamed it as this. And he got hired by so many uh, insurance companies who moved to the US, so you know. Yeah, that's a great way to say if you're a casual poker player, put that in your resume. Global client relations officer means tell your clients to shut up. Government relations officer means tell your clients to shut up in both English and in French in Canada. Innovation evangelist means you should use TikTok. Wait, doesn't that sound exactly like Marketing technologist, exactly the same. Cosmetic and beauty advisor, makeup artist, and procurement and service manager. Means you make sure comes on on time. The corporate culture advocate means HR, entrepreneur. Imagine you woke up in bed, you thought, you know what the best idea is? To make a pillow that's always cold forever. And you never touch that idea again? You could technically call yourself an entrepreneur. It's disrespectful to real entrepreneurs out there, but I've seen people who do that. So, you know, you want to abuse that, go ahead, but give some respect to real entrepreneurs who put real investments into your companies first. So now we know the basics of how to make an impressive job title. Let's use everyday jobs and let's make them sound more impressive. Environmental maintenance officer means garbage slash recycling man or woman. On-site customer liaison means usher at a stadium or event. Competitive physical recreational instructor means coach for a sports team. Or you can add the word associate to make sure you work under a coach. Development officer for next generation leadership means camp counselor. Dynamic customer engagement manager means server at a restaurant. See, that sounds a bit better than saying your early stages progressing because it sounds like you're a This shows that you're more professional in my opinion. Direct sanitation administrator is a janitor. 
Transaction and Merchandise Associate is a fast food staff. No matter which fast food place you work, McDonald's, Burger King, all that stuff, you literally touch the merchandise and you do financial transactions, so respect for that. Inventory Production Line and Services means shelf stalker at a supermarket or anything in general you're stalking. That's literally what you call yourself. A multidisciplinary educator for advanced learning means I'm a tutor which I could teach two or more subjects. Traditional virtual broadcaster for educational outreach, which means campus ambassador, except you don't use the word ambassador. That's how you make yourself better. Guest service assistance, financial division, which means cashier, aquatic waterfront supervisor, lifeguard, technical production management associate, manual labor, customer and client experience agent, means customer service, independent transportation fleet manager, Uber driver, because you manage your own car, Independent Educational Supervisor for Early Generational Talent means Babysitter Urbanized Professional Domestic Canine Educator and Advisor means Dog Sitter Communication and Operations Liaison for the Advanced and Experienced Grandma Sitter So at the end of the day, don't get intimidated by job titles you see all over the internet because those people probably have the exact same experience as you So be more confident, know yourself more Find job title that makes more sense to you and shows a representation of how hard you work at that job. Just a little tweak to the title can make a huge difference for your next job opportunity. Thanks again for watching, and I really enjoy making these kind of videos because it helps out people out there and there's a good laugh here and there. If you like these kind of videos, just comment below, like, share, and tell people, you know, we're in this together, you guys will get jobs, you guys will get something you like, and show that your work experience wasn't meaningless, it meant something, and that you yourself are a professional out there that can accelerate to the next level because I'm a customer experience associate accelerator. I hate how stupid these name things work, but it does work apparently.